When you hear camel, you might imagine the desert and a group of camel transporting people and loads from one place to another. While that is still their popular streak, over the years people have found many different uses for these domestic animals. In countries like Saudi Arabia, Oman, Kenya, and Somalia, people have found a new way of making a living off these animals. They don't lend camels as a tourist transport anymore. Instead, they farm them for milk. Yes, you heard that right. You'll be surprised to know just how useful these animals can be. But before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like these. We have many facts and information sorted on our friendly desert creature, so stick around till the end so you don't miss out on anything. For today's video, we are traveling in the scorching heat of Saudi Arabia to explore one of their famous camel farms. Camels are known as a desert animal that can survive excess heat and live on bare minimum water and food. So what happens when they're well taken care of on a farm with a continuous supply of food and water? They produce nearly 20 liters of milk per day, and that's coming from a single camel. In countries like Saudi Arabia, where it's difficult to rear cows for their milk demands, they've resorted to using camels instead. There was even a time when Saudi Arabia used to import milk powders to meet their domestic demands. But that's all in the past once they found a way around their problem, camel farming. Now the majority of their milk product market is surrounded by variations of camel milk-based products. In this video, we're talking about big commercial farms that house around 5,000 to 10,000 camels and work on making their own product. We're going to start with the reproduction process, making our way down to the milk producing part. Camels are seasonal breeders, and so the month of November and December are best for breeding if the process of breeding is done naturally. Their gestation period is one of the longest of livestock animals. It lasts up to 390 days. That's 14 months of pregnancy. They give birth to one calf at a time. A female camel goes through pregnancy every two years or so. With better care and feeding, this number can be altered, but not by much. A female camel has 40 years of lifespan and can birth eight calves during her lifetime. With better care, the number can be moved up to 13 calves or more. They become restless and move away from their herd as the calving times approach, and it takes nearly two hours to birth a calf. The calves stand on their feet within 20 minutes of their birth, and so the process of first feeding begins. The feeding of the calves depends solely on what the mother has to offer. The newborns suckle and rely on their mother's milk till they're old enough to feed on anything else. Thereafter begins the lactation period, which is very important for the milk production farms, as it's during this time when the female produces milk, ranging anywhere between 10 liters to 20 liters a day. A camel's lactation period lasts between 8 and 18 months. After the lactation period is over, the milk dries up and is of no more use to the farm until the breeding is done again. To commercially run a farm, the farm carefully divides its herd of camels into two. While one herd of camels is pregnant, the other herd is already lactating and providing milk. Through this method, they ensure a steady supply of milk throughout the year. But it's not just the factories that require fresh milk, the calves also need their share of food. The amount of milk drunk by the calves is regulated by tying up one or more of the camel's teats. The amount the calves get is also determined by their need and the milking capacity of the mother. The camels are milked two to three times a day. During the daytime, the calves are allowed to run with their mother and are penned separately at night. If a calf dies during the suckling period, the milk dam dries up if the camel does not see her calf drinking from her. In cases like these, a foster calf is provided or some other measures are taken. In this case, seeing the skin of a calf should be enough for the mother to start producing milk again. The commercial farms are constantly working to make sure the quality of the milk is the best. For this, they have to make sure their camels are disease-free and follow certain hygiene processes. Common diseases that affect camels are foot and mouth, lumpy skin disease, camel pox, and mantitis, all of which can be prevented by vaccination and controlled by treatment and medicines provided by the vets. Camels are also bathed every day to maintain proper hygiene on the farm. Furthermore, they're also bathed with pesticides and acaricides to keep off pests and flies. They're marked on their furs or provided with tags to keep track of them. 
Camels can eat different varieties of forages, and they also have the ability to digest poor quality forages given circumstances. In the farms, they're provided with top quality forages to graze on. Because the quality of the milk ultimately depends on the type of food they graze on, they're provided with supplements through their foods to further ensure the quality of the milk. Needless to say, they're provided with the best of food and a clean drinking water supply so they can continue to provide more milk. Another thing that determines their health and milk quality is salt. Camels like salt. Camels lose all the minerals they have through their urine, so to balance it out, they need regular salt licks to get the essential minerals they've lost. The camels reach puberty at around one and a half to three years, but they're not fit for breeding until they're at least six years old. The population of the farm depends on the number of female calves birthed, who go on to breed more, and so the circle continues. Now that the female calves are lactating again, it's time to collect their milk. While in small farms this process is done by hand and is equally effective, big commercial farms choose to rely on modern machines to get their job done. A whole area of the farm is dedicated to the modern milking machine. The whole barn is filled with single-slot cages where the camels are taken for milking. Before the milking process begins, a small sample of the milk is taken from each animal for a quality check. Milking the camel is a painless and quick process, and it also allows the camel to function more comfortably once the excess milk is extracted. This is done three times a day, also depending on their demands. When the milk is not consumed fresh, it must be processed immediately in order to maintain the quality of the milk, as fresh milk is said to go bad very fast. The milk, when drunk straight after extraction, is said to taste different. So it goes through a long processing step to give it the taste that many consumers are familiar with. This process varies depending on the type of product that's being made. After processing, the milk is ready to be packed and supplied to the nearest market. Big companies like Saudi Arabia's Camelicious are known to use the milk in every aspect possible. They make a variety of flavored milk, ice creams, yogurts, chocolates, protein bars, and milk powders. They've found great commercial success in the Arabic market and now supply their products in over 17 countries. Camel milk has found a whole new market in the Middle East where this has essentially become the favorite daily choice for people. Camel milk is preferred by many, not just because it's the only available option, but because of the many benefits it provides. Camel's milk is found to be very nutritious. It's high in vitamin C, many minerals, and immunoglobin, which boosts the immune system. The milk also has a different lactose component, which allows people with lactose intolerance to consume this milk without any problems. Several studies have also revealed the wonders it does to people's health. The milk has a positive impact on many diseases like diabetes, liver disease, jaundice, and many viral diseases. While milk is the most marketable product of the camel other than transport and tourism, it's also found a relatively small market in the meat and skin hide sector. Camel meat is a valuable food source rich in many essential amino acids, minerals, vitamins, and fatty acids. Apart from the nutritional value, it's also very cheap compared to beef and other meat sources. In Middle Eastern countries, camel meat is regarded as the main source of animal protein that equals and sometimes surpasses other meats. The hides and wool that come from these desert creatures may not be the most sought after in the market, but they also provide some value to the profit of those who rear them. Nowadays, everything comes second to milk in the camel farming industry. Their main focus these days has shifted to producing as much milk as possible. Anyone who wants to get into this business has a shot of success if they live in the right region. It takes a hefty investment to start, but once everything is settled and you have enough animals to make a living off of, it's smooth sailing. One thing to keep in mind is camel farming is relatively time-taking and requires more patience in order to see results compared to any other livestock farming. So if you have a hefty investment, everlasting patience, and love for camels, then this is hands down the best business for you. The good news is the industry is booming and reaching overseas. The growth shows no sign of stopping anywhere in the near future. Now that you've had an insider look at the camel farming business, what are your thoughts about it? Is it something that interests you? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video.